Hello, Doris. Hi, Chip. We're happy today, aren't we? You're having a good day. Both of us are having a good day. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. You did it. I feel good. You did it. You look fantastic. How do you feel? I feel great. Good. In control. <laughs> you know what? In control. Good. Well, you know what? The last couple of times I've seen you, you're really aware of your weight and more, more than that, aware of how you feel. You know, you almost know where you are now, don't you? Mm -hmm. I can, you feel. for people who have a weight problem, I, it's the first time in my life where I feel good in my skin. Like, uh, it's not even about looking good, I yeah. feel good in my skin. Good. Well, you're an active person who wants to get back to being really active. Now you can, and have started to already. A little bit, yeah. You, uh, you're 75 pounds down, mm -hmm. bunch 50, of inches too. 54 inches yeah, or something crazy. Yeah, bunch, like taller than some of our customers. <laughs> um, I think your diet of the month uh, three or four months ago it was yeah. fantastic. It was fun. Right that, before, that was right a before big COVID girl. hit. Actually, during that month, mm -hmm. March, I think the it first was. one. Yeah. yeah. And um, you've had a lot of. I remember early on, you had a lot of. You had like a Sunday family dinner or something. Every, friends so, dinner, didn't you? Oh, you every, still do every week. Is it family? It's my best friends. Okay. I'm, I'm a godmother to the kids. Yeah. Managing through that still. I mean, you managed through it all the whole way through, and even through this lockdown, you know, which is hopefully getting past the soon, but who knows. Um, tell us how you feel. Tell us how you feel about the program and the foods and just your new body. And, and really, you know what we strive for here is not as much the weight loss. It's more the health and the wellness and the longevity that you can put behind all this. And you're emanating that. Well, I think this time I've lost, this is my fourth time with a major weight loss. Okay. I've lost 80 pounds three times okay so I and the only reason why I took off 75 this time is you and Matt po encouraged me to go down lower than I was going to so I think I'm happy I'm 10 pounds lower than I thought I would be okay but my number one thing is I am a very active person I like to do triathlons I like to right. just be on my bike and I at 238 I wasn't doing anything right. I was starting to get heartburn I was because I'm 57 today Ugh, 57 I can't believe it <laughs> and so I just wanted to be back to being able to, I'm a teacher, so I want to go chase kids, and and I you have to chase kids. Yeah, and so <laughs> I was drinking too much, and I have no desire to drink. That makes me super excited. I I I don't feel hungry. I don't feel necess needing to eat. I don't. I like how I feel. My I, I like how my body feels. I think I look pretty good too for someone who lost so much weight. Yeah. I don't feel like I look like someone who just you, dropped 75 pounds. You've grooved into a comfortable place, really, yeah. really nicely. Over these last, I mean, you hit goal a few weeks ago. And rather than hitting goal, stepping down, phasing out in phase two, and then being gone, you've had a nice, take, paying attention to what you thought you needed for yourself, which has been a perfect transition out, I think. And I think for anyone starting out, like I'm really comforted yeah, that I have helpful, yeah. Chip and Matt, <laughs> like both of you here, because I, I am I am starting to be someone who, if I start to go up, I. When I hit the tipping point, I just, that's why I gained so much weight. And this time, setting a hard, like 170, that's mm -hmm. it. And then, and then also I, for the next three months, my goal is to not eat anything that's not in the bullseye. Right. Other right. than a few of the products I right. like. Love. I really love these. <laughs> <laughs> Cookie dough. Yeah, yeah so. she's taking the last of them. <laughs> Sorry, people. It's all right. Um, any particular struggles that you that you saw with protocol that you're able to overcome and think other people might be uh, be able to learn from as something not as much to fear on this program? Um, don't be afraid to ask for support. And then for me, I I wasn't going to go off protocol, so I'm probably one of the right. obnoxious people. It wasn't an option. Like okay. I don't think I gained any weight on this. And for me, it wasn't an option. So I think. Um, I knew this was going to be my struggle time now, like yeah. this next three months. But I feel like I'm, you've taught me so many skills that I don't see it being a problem. Like I love how good food tastes. Like you got me Real green food. vegetables yeah, again. Yeah. Like I wasn't eating. I was pretty much eating out. I was pretty much drinking. I was pretty much... I didn't realize how cortisol, stressed, living on the edge, fight or flight I was until this COVID hit. And mm -hmm. I've been able to rest. And mm -hmm. Also another thing I would say, don't... Don't um, neglect your self-care. Mm. Like I've been doing a lot of meditation. I've been taking master classes. I've been in group support groups, 
for emotions and and that's probably been my number one. So really a wellness way beyond weight. I went I had this has to be a lifestyle. Like I'm actually yeah. I'm actually working with a counselor for a lifestyle shift. Nice. Like I'm gonna take it that far this time. So I'm probably one of your extreme models, but um of what's happening because I just don't want to go I don't want to go here again. Yeah. Yeah, that's fantastic. Thanks for sharing. Yeah. It's really important. It's really uh, it's really invigorating to hear you talk about it beyond uh, just the weight because we like to think of it that way for you to say a lifestyle shift and change and for you actually be doing something already mm -hmm. because you know what you need everyone needs something different and if you know what you need then you really have discovered well coming to something terms new in yourself to come to terms with being an addict I think was really powerful for me like I have always known that I oh I like to eat or whatever but I'm an addict like I'm a food addict and I'm an alcohol. I'm not. I'm not an alcoholic, but I enjoy extreme imbibing everything, <laughs> and I just don't need to be extreme anymore. Yeah. I can be extreme riding my bike, or I can be extreme with. Yeah. I got to find other things to be extreme. Right. Well, we've <laughs> we've enjoyed having you here. Our chats at night have been great. You're you're one of our last clients. You practically know everybody that was yeah. one of our that was on the late rotation. I like all. And they're all people. physicians they're mostly. All doctors, you're like, yeah. You're, Got they're to be friends cool with people. Rebecca and Shin and all yeah, these different people. They're all people. good people. Um, yeah, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> but we've loved having you on protocol. It's been an absolute treat for us. And especially being late at Monday night, to be able to have you here, it's it's we've all we're always smiling yeah. when we're here late and it's I thank you for that. Oh, really good. appreciate well, it. Well I really appreciate it. And we're friends now for Yeah, I feel it's just, like just natural. You and me and Matt, we're all we know each other pretty well. Yeah. yeah, it's really cool. It's one of the side benefits. And we if get. anybody needs encouragement or support, you know, I'm 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 into it. And you're and you're good at talking with folks about it, so mm -hmm. it's really awesome. Yeah. Um, thank you very much. And I'll well, be back if I need you. Again. I'll be back if I need you. <laughs> well, it'll be at an alarm weight. It won't be anything crazy. You mm -hmm. know, that's normal. So, we love you, lady. I love you too. Thank, thank you. you. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Bye.